Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are trying out some new makeup releases. I found some things that I absolutely love and are, am going to continue to use in my daily routine. And then I'm sad to say that I have some fails. I don't get those quite often, but today we had some. Now you guys, before we jump into it, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. But if you want to see what products I used and how I got this look using those products, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, I have some fun new things in front of me and I'm really excited to try them out. Now, this isn't exactly what I thought I was going to be playing with. When I woke up this morning, I had a completely different way that I was going to go and um, <laughs> some things happened today and I changed my mind. <laughs> so I'm excited though because it's still something that I wanted to try out and review and is very colorful. This is the new release from Too Faced. It's the Cosmic Crush palette, which I love the packaging on this. There is like raised up feel for the text. There's like, is, I'm, is it like holographic or... I don't know it's I like the color shift of the clouds <laughs> and then the color story it is very beautiful very sparkly there's some really nice neutral shades as well as some deeper shades to deepen it up but the shimmers they're stunning and I'm so excited to swatch them see what they're all about and get a feel for this but this isn't the palette that I was planning on using when I woke up this morning and we'll get into it when I'm doing my makeup. Let me go ahead and swatch these. Okay, you guys, looking at the palette, I'm super excited for it. But looking at the swatches, <laughs> they're not what I expected. So there's two. It is Orbit and Frost in Space. They're on the bottom row. They are the lighter of the shades. They barely showed up when I swatched them and then even when I was recording the swatches they kind of look like they disappeared frost in space looks like it has some shimmer there's like a goldish hue to it but it doesn't have as much payoff as like hypernova which is the black with teal glitter which is absolutely stunning and i wasn't thinking i was going to go that dark with my look today but i might because i really want to use that shade now total eclipse is black with like silver glitter but it doesn't show up as much as like Hypernova. And then there's also Starlight, which is the red cranberry shimmer, which has, it looks like rose gold or gold itself glitter in it. It's really pretty, but the swatches just don't do this palette justice. I'm looking at them and I'm just kind of like, meh. So I'm really hoping that the swatches are not all the hype for this palette. And when I go to use them, I get better color payoff because swatches aren't everything. I've seen some videos where the swatches just did not perform, but the colors, the palette itself just had the perfect payoff. So I'm going to wipe off my arm. I'm going to prep my eyes and I'm going to figure out which way I want to go because I, I'm not thrilled right now with the swatches, but I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I think I have a way forward. <laughs> And then we'll discuss kind of how the day went. Okay, my first shade is going to be Out of This World, which is a pale pinky mauve. I'm going to put this in the crease and slightly in the outer V just to give us a buffer for the darker shades because I think I'm going to lean a little bit on the dark side today. Now, when I woke up, granted that was at like 4 o'clock this morning because I was motivated and I knew I needed to go to the gym. We have our physical fitness assessment cycle going on. And I was like, even if I can't get waved from my back with everything going on, because if you've seen previous videos, uh, I think it was when I was setting up the room, we kind of discussed that I got an MRI and I got some issues uh, to include moderate arthrosis in my lower lumbar and a herniated disc. There's the synopsis. Um, but during our physical fitness assessment, I have to do push-ups and a plank for, I want to say it's like two minutes, which wouldn't be bad if I had core strength. Right now, my back is in pain. And I'm also afraid that I'm going to do some damage to my back without having seen my physician. And the soonest I can get into 
an appointment is August 14th. Mind you, I tried to make an appointment in May and this is how far out medical is currently. It is what it is, but I knew I was like, I gotta go to the gym. I'm not running. <laughs> that hurts too much. So I was just like, I'll do the elliptical, it's low impact. And then the other day I did the bike just to get some type of movement, but I could not get my butt out of bed. I didn't want to, uh, but I knew I needed to. So I got up at four, well, 4.15, 4 4.20, I finally got out of bed. I'm gonna go into the shade Blast Off, which I don't think I talked about. The little pressings in here, they are so cute. It's really the only one that has the pressings except for Milky Way, which has the uh, TMF for Too Faced. Uh, this one, I'm just gonna use my compacted smudge brush. And this is more gray than black, so I might use Total Eclipse to like deepen it up. So I go to the gym <laughs> on base and I'm on the elliptical. <laughs> First off, I despise bugs. I can't stand them, but I see movement out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, the heck is this? If you haven't been in Norfolk or somewhere in the South where it gets hot, humid, and very wet sometimes because of the rainstorms and thunder and all of it, um, tropical depressions, whatnot, we get these things called cockroaches or water bugs, but they are ginormous. They're like, that's freaking big. I'm on the elliptical, I got two minutes left. And out of the corner of my eye, I see movement on the ground. And I was just like, why is there movement? And usually it's like someone's coming up next to you that you know, and you're like, hey, no, there's this freaking water bug, cockroach, whatever you want to freaking call it, scurrying. And I was like, uh, I almost jumped off my elliptical, which would have been dangerous. I finished up, I kept an eye on him because I was just like, you better not climb on this elliptical with me. It's occupado. So <laughs> I keep an eye on him. I get done with my workout. Like I said, two minutes. And as soon as I'm done, I go to the counter and the gentleman that's always there in the morning, I was like, hey, so this might be weird, um, but there's cockroach trying to work out. <laughs> he's like, what? And I was like, he's over by the elliptical. He's just checking out the equipment. And he's just like, mind you, I've had some pre-workout. I'm like hyped. And uh, he's like, okay, I'll be right back. And he goes to get like the broom in a bin and whatever. And he's gonna try, <laughs> he's trying to find this thing. Well, when I went back over by the equipment because I needed to clean off mine, he wasn't by my elliptical anymore. He was a couple more down and he was scurrying. If you've never seen them, they're really fast. They disappear quickly. And all of a sudden you're like, where did they go? They're almost as good as Houdini, but he couldn't find it. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh crap. I've got like 30, 40 more minutes of working out. And I was like, I don't need him to pop up and ruin the rest of my workout. But then, I came home and I was getting ready. I, I didn't have to be to work right away. Uh, we weren't supposed to be where we needed to be until like nine. So I, I'm getting ready, I'm doing what I need to do. And we get a text message saying, we're not going on board until, or we're not, we're not going on board until 10 a.m. I'm like, <laughs> I'm already sitting in the parking lot. I'm just waiting. And uh, I was like, I can only look at TikTok for so long. So I decided to go back to the building. I'm gonna go into the shade Total Eclipse. This is the one that looks like it has blue, green, and gold glitter. I'm gonna use my pencil brush for this. And just on the outer corner, kind of deepen it up. But I'm gonna see if I can knock the glitter off because I'm not a huge fan of it in the outer V area. Um, so I go into the building and check my email I do what I need to do make I update some things that I need know that I need to do because I've got travel coming up and just administrative things we also had a meeting that we ended up needing or I didn't have to go to I chose to go to but I wanted to get some details so I go to the meeting and I leave there and I head oh because then we also get mind you at 10 o'clock when we're supposed to be going to where we're supposed to be going we get another text message and they're like come back at 12.30 and I was like, 12.30. We're just prolonging what we need to do. Whatever, it happens, schedules shift, you just have to be adaptable, which is when I decide to go to the office. Um, and then I go to the meeting, find out some details, uh, things that are gonna happen later on this year. It was productive, I learned some things. Okay, I like the smokiness that I'm getting from this. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Hypernova. This I'm gonna pick up on my ring finger because it's gonna go all over the lid. <laughs> we go back, 12.30 comes around, and we do what we need to do. But by the time I'm leaving to head home, it's like 
two o'clock, which is not early, but the walk and it was hot out. It's currently, it's currently 95 degrees here. And I had my sleeves rolled down on my uniform, which that's my prerogative. I could roll them up, but either way, I'd still be sweating. I was sweating my butt off when I got to the Jeep and uh, it was not a fun feeling. I don't know if you've walked in 95 degree weather in pants and a long sleeve shirt. Like it's not comfortable at all. And it's not made of like a breathable material. You do what you gotta do. Ooh, I really like this. Kinda want to, like I didn't leave room to add a lighter shade, but I think I'm going to. I'm gonna go into the shade Moon Glow, which is a really pretty silver. I'm gonna try and pick it up on a dry brush. Put it right here in the inner corner and just pull it through. Nothing too crazy. I'll clean up the glitter easy enough. It came off really easy. Sometimes the glitter will just stick, but let me go do this eye. I'll be back because I have some other products that are brand new. Okay, so I also have the Silk Protein Primer from Kat Berkey. This I just received in July subscription box. This one's supposed to just kind of smooth out the skin. I'm hoping it fills my pores, but if not, we're going to reach for the tried and true Tarte Timeless Smoothing, but I want to try this. Now, when I was leaving the ship, okay, so that's what that looks like. It's just like a lotion consistency. Ooh, it has a really nice, like subtle refreshing scent. Um, it was so warm and I got to my car and I, I had the like auto start on my like key fob. So I had started it up and it was cooling off. But do you ever get into your car and the vent is like the coldest thing in your car? and you just put your head in front of it to just stop sweating. That's where I was. <laughs> like I was just drenched in sweat and taken my hat off and it just, I was so sweaty. It was gross. I knew I was coming home to film makeup. So I was just kind of like, not a big deal. I'm not worried if my makeup still looks good. Um, it usually does. I usually wear like a sweat proof, budge proof, uh, kind of makeup for the summer, but I just <laughs> I wasn't feeling it. All right, let's see. So that's just a small layering. It looks like it kind of smoothed out, but like, I don't know if you can really see, like I can still see some of the pores. I'm gonna take a smidge more and just concentrate it like in this area where I have my bigger pores that I don't like. But like this morning, cause I know tonight we're gonna go to one of our favorite breweries. They're doing a Harry Potter trivia and of course I'm going with Jamie and Rob and then a couple other friends. Luke is out of town right now. So it's just been me and grandma, but I'm gonna go and hang out with some friends and do that. I don't know what this was. My skin looks kind of like glowy, healthy, hydrated, but it did not fix that. We're gonna go into Tarte Timeless. And see, that's the difference. Like it just smoothed that out completely. It's why I keep reaching for it. Uh, I got this idea from Tati. She was one of the first YouTubers that I was watching besides, what is it, Kathleen Lights? But Kathleen Lights is a lot younger than both of us. Uh, Tati is actually closer to my age and has similar like skin complexion. The pores are controlled-ish. And we'll do the lines too, cause they didn't disappear. A lot of my primers I do layer if they're glowy or just skin beneficial, I'll put them on and then do the Tarte Timeless just to smooth out my pores and my lines. I do have a new concealer and did I not grab a powder? Let me do that real quick. So normally I wouldn't show you like the in-between products that I'm using, but I have a new concealer. So I'm gonna show you the foundation and the powder that I'm gonna use. This is the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. This is not the first time I've used it. It is the second time. The first time I was just kind of like in love with it because my under eye is not my favorite. So we're using this along with my Charlotte Tilbury and then Huda Beauty, two of my favorite products. But I was like, you know what? We're trying something new along with a new primer, which I don't usually do, but it's okay. It's quite all right. So when I got done, I just, I also forgot to eat lunch. Like <laughs> completely forgot to eat lunch. Or when I got off of work, first thing I did was grab something to eat, but I don't want to eat too much because I knew I was going to come home and make dinner for grandma and I before I go out and meet up with some friends. Um, 
and I didn't want to ruin my appetite, but I needed something to eat and I get kind of hangry. But by the time I got home, I was just kind of like, I don't, I don't want to film what I was going to film with. Um, is it more elaborate? No. Uh, I was going, it's the, uh, the glam light Harry Potter collection. The doubt, the difference is because I've been doing like the B roll for all the products that collection plus other new products. So I was just kind of like, you know what? I'm going to simplify it. I'm a little worn out, but I want to play with makeup. Do you ever get like that where the plan you had when you woke up in the morning is not the plan you have in the afternoon? <laughs> that has been today, but I did accomplish some of the things that I needed to like going to the gym. Uh, and I took it easy. I, I did assisted weightlifting and I focused on my legs because I need that support for my back. Just if you know you have an issue and you can't get into the doctors, but you know that you like need to stay active, be careful and cognizant of what you're doing. Uh, I do go to physical therapy. I have been in to see my physical therapist. I have an appointment again tomorrow because I go twice a week. So I've been making sure that I clear my activity through them and they do document it. Um, but my biggest thing is just not injuring myself worse than I'm currently. <laughs> I'm not 100%. There's no way like I could do some of the things that I usually do. Like I used to wakeboard and snowboard. Those things I'm not doing right now. Um, but I hope to get back to those things. Like when I was working in Great Lakes, I was going to the chiropractor twice a week because I was having back issues there. And I thought once I left boot camp that my back would get better because I wasn't doing as much activity on my own as I was with my recruits. <laughs> That's not what happened. Um, so I thought it was a product of being at RTC and just being super active. It's not, it's just, consistently gotten worse because 19 years of service will deteriorate some things. So now I'm just waiting to see what the doctor has to say when I get to that appointment. And by the time you see this, I may have already been to the doctor. I have to pre-record some things because of the trip I have with Jamie. And I'm not sure when you guys are going to see this. So just know some of these videos are in the past. And when I get back from Orlando, I will catch up with you guys for sure. Uh, but I do need to pre-record some of my things for the trip. Now into Natasha Denona. I have mine in the shade N5. Why do I look orange? It will tone down when I put the powder on. That I know. Um, I also didn't, man, I'm really not with it. I also did not pick a blush. Well, I'll do that here in a minute, but let's focus on <laughs> the things I can control. And I'm super dehydrated. That's the other thing. So dehydrated. I drank tons of water before I went to the gym, during the gym, and then like in between all the like going where I needed to go. And by the time I got there and I just, I haven't been drinking water. <laughs> I also didn't drink coffee this morning, which is not normal. I tend to have a cup of coffee in the morning because I can't do it in the afternoon. Kind of want to right now. Um, maybe it would actually make me feel better, but I also know caffeine too late in the day will make me stay awake all night. And I plan on getting up at four o'clock again tomorrow to go to the gym. And then I have physical therapy. I do go to the gym before I go to physical therapy, just because physical therapy is only like 30 minutes. And we do a lot of like stretching and stuff like that, but I try and get on the elliptical to get like a 20 minute workout at least. So I tried this the other day. It was part of what I had like purchased before we moved. And I, <laughs> I lost that package of stuff that I had purchased. I had packed up that drawer and when we got to the new house, I don't remember what I packed it in. I thought it was a box. It was not. It was actually a duffel bag. Well, it was a makeup bag inside of a duffel bag along with some of the other things that I keep like in my drawers. Uh, I absolutely did not remember that. 
and I was about to go repurchase this because I kept seeing it everywhere and everyone's like, oh my goodness, it's the best concealer ever. You need to try it. And I'm like, I bought it so I could try it, but I lost it. <laughs> All right. So this is before I said it. My under eyes look nice and like bright and creamy. And I don't know why I'm like sweating my butt off. I don't get it. I have the fan on, the AC is on. Like, do you guys ever get where you're like to the point of rambling and you just can't autocorrect but like you, you know that you're rambling that's how I feel right now okay so this side is set this side is not mm, there's just something about the good products that you try out and how they work on your skin and everything just coming together there's always that part of me that's like oh crap if I try this new product am I gonna have a bad makeup day and then I'm supposed to go out with my friends I'm stuck like that I've gotten really lucky lately I'm really hoping I'm not speaking too soon. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, set the rest of my face, uh, but I wanted you guys to see the difference between without powder, with powder, and the concealer. So let me go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, we need to do the under eye, and I'm thinking I'm probably gonna stick with the same shades that I used up here. I'm gonna go into the shade Out of This World, and just on my tiny smudger, I'm gonna take that the entire length of my eye. But let me know, do you guys get to that point where you wake up in the morning and you have a complete idea of how your day is going to go and then by the time it gets to that point you're like, we're scrapping it all, we're starting fresh, I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're going to do something else. Usually I have like a task list of things that I need to accomplish and I didn't really have one today. Like I've accomplished the things that like I knew I needed to do, they just haven't been in any particular order. The biggest thing that I switched up and I was like, yeah, we're not doing that, was my makeup and the tutorial that I was gonna do. And into the shade Blast Off. This is just gonna go in the outer V slightly into the center, but not all the way. Just kind of like a grungy, smoky eye. With some feminine pops of mauve pink. And now into the shade Total Eclipse. This is going to go on the pencil brush. I do think I need to add in some more of like the mauvey pink. So I'm going to dip into Out of This World. I will say, <laughs> and I wasn't expecting this. I have travel, I want to say every single month till the end of the year, except October, November right now. And that might change. I know I need to go down to Florida. I got my maiden name back. I have to go and update my ID, which is still in Florida. So at some point I need to go see my parents. They're down in Cape Coral. But I have like some cool events coming up. August is Orlando with Jamie. I have September, there is Sephora, the end of September in New York City. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm really excited for it. I'm gonna bronze contour and keep talking, but I'm just using my physician's formula for contour. And then I have a new bronzer from MAC that I picked up. But like those things I'm really excited for. I've never been to Sephora before. And I don't know if it's just the name of it this year I know that they said that they did a major Sephora event 2018-19 and then with COVID 2020 and 2021 were virtual. So this year they're doing both in-person and virtual. But I got told about the in-person because of my Sephora status. I guess it was earlier than others. So this time I was actually able to get a ticket. Um, plus it's in New York and my sister is letting me stay at her place she's up there but I'm excited like I've never been to one of those big events and I'm excited to see what it's all about I love makeup I'm a huge makeup enthusiast nothing too crazy when it comes to contour I am going to use the Mac Mac golden skin finish <laughs> this is in I think I got the medium shade it doesn't say oh matte medium golden if only I could read, and I'm pretty sure I just read that and like did not register what it was. 
that's what it looks like. And then I like the packaging itself. It's just like a textured bronze. I kind of just watched it in store, but I'm not really sure what it looks like, like on the skin. I didn't really think today's video was going to be like a full on chatty, get ready with me type of thing. Um, <laughs> like I said, this video is not exactly how I planned it this morning when I woke up. And I'm not one of those that like plans out all my videos. Like I'll put in my notes what things I still need to film, but I don't have like a dedicated day that it's going to be. I'll be like, okay, I need to film Harry Potter. I need to film, I think I have the Glam Light Hershey's, milk chocolate and white chocolate. Like I have them in my notes, like what I need to film, but not in the order in which I'm going to film them. It's like when I go and look at the makeup drawer, okay, this is how I feel about it. The only thing today was, okay, well, we're going to Harry Potter trivia. It would make sense to do the Harry Potter collection from, it's She Glam. I think I said Glam Light earlier. It's She Glam and Glam Light is Hershey's. Those, I was like, okay, yeah, that would make sense. But then I got home and I was like, I don't really want to do that today. It's just been a topsy-turvy kind of day. For being medium, I think the bronzer is pretty subtle. I'm also not going in pretty heavy-handed. I think I just have like a golden sheen, which I'm not mad at. I kind of like it and it's pretty buildable. I did end up going and picking a blush. It's the RMS Beauty. This is what pomegranate fizz. I picked this up the other day and I really like their brand. I want to try more things. Their primer is one of my favorites. They've been in business for 14 years. They just had their anniversary sale and there were a whole bunch of things that were being released and whatnot, um, even on Instagram that I was seeing. But so far, like, I don't know why I've never heard of them before. I just happened to see a video about their primer and I was like, okay, I need to try that out. And I kind of want to pick up some other shades of their blush. Like there's like a peachy orange shade. And I think that would be really pretty on the skin. Like look at the glowy effect. It's also not a shade that I would gravitate towards frequently. But I really like this shade. I have a couple. I think I've got one from MAC. That's kind of this shade. Um, and super glowy. But I just, I don't use them too often. All right, Too Faced also released a highlighter. This is the Moon Crush Out of This World Highlighter in Shooting Star. It's kind of like an iridescent packaging, but they had two different shades and I think I got the more golden of the two. I don't know, I can't remember if this is the deeper. It might've been the lighter of the shades, but there were two shades released. I really like this highlighter. Now, I do need to go ahead, do my brows, liner, mascara, and lips, which I don't have new products for those, with the exception of for brows, I have the brow gel, which we got in the July subscription box. The Le Brow Eyebrow Gel, and it's just a clear. So I might define my brows and come back with the gel for you guys, as well as I have the Ace Beauty Setting Spray. So I will be back for these two. I'm gonna go and try out the others, but I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, we're mostly done. I did do my Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk for liner and lips, uh, lipstick. <laughs> I haven't used it in a while. And I forgot how much I love it. It just it feels so good on the lips. Now, I did go ahead and do eyeliner, mascara, all that stuff. It will be linked down below, anything that I didn't discuss or show you in the video. But now for the brow gel. So I'll take it through the front and then I go backwards to just kind of lift my hairs. This is kind of like super liquidy. I don't know that I'm like a huge fan of it. We'll let it dry down a little bit. It's like super glossy and I'm not sure that like, I'm a huge fan of like the consistency. I'm gonna take a dry spoolie 
and just kind of push it through and get whatever excess product and hope that this like all dries down. I might have to go back in with some powder to just take out the shine. And then the Ace Beauty Seal It Makeup Setting Spray. This one I haven't even like sprayed it to see what it looks like. Oh. Whew, that is a heavy mist. Just get that to dry down a little bit uh, and then press the rest of it in. So I think I talked too soon. I, I mean, it's not a horrible makeup day. It's just the last two products. Not my favorite. Okay, you guys, this is the final look. I will say I have some favorites and not so favorite. So the setting spray, I'm sure I'll keep using. It, it is very like thick drops. Whereas I love my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting. It's just a nice mist. It smells great. This has like a, a scent to it, but it's nothing crazy. The brow gel, I mean, it dries down nice. I can still see like the shininess on my skin. I'm gonna have to go back in with powder. Not a big deal. I'll fix it. The bronzer, I really like the highlighter. This highlighter from Too Faced. I love this. Just look how beaming that is. Really like that. And then the eyeshadow palette, the Cosmic Crush eyeshadow palette. I don't think it's one of my favorites. I have some amazing palettes that I've used this year and I don't know that I would stack this at the top. I like the color story. I like some of the shimmers. This green one, which is Hypernova, absolutely stunning. But like the gray and the Total Eclipse shade, the black that I put on here, mm, I don't know. I'll probably use Out of This World, which is that mauve shade, but like I can't use anything else for work besides Out of This World. I can use the other neutral shades, but there's not a shimmer. I don't know. I just, have you picked this up? Are you planning on getting it? Did this change your mind? I get a lot of comments going, you changed my mind because you love the palette. I'm not in love with it. I have some beautiful ones that I got from Natasha Denona, like the Yucca palette. Absolutely love the color story, the formula. Uh, Odin's Eye, beautiful Swedish indie brand. Love their stuff. I love Too Faced. This is not my favorite palette from them. Anyone else feeling the same way? Uh, I want to know. Oh, and there's a scent. So I keep forgetting that Too Faced scents their makeup. It's nothing crazy, but it's just like a light scent. Let me know your thoughts. I probably could have passed on this one. Now for the concealer. I really like how my under eyes look and I liked it the other day when I used it. I'm really looking forward to continuing to use it and see how it looks with other primers, other foundations, other powders, but so far so good. And then the primer that I use, I like the glowiness on the skin. I did have to use my Tarte Timeless to kind of smooth out the pores, but I've been doing that with other primers, so it's no different. Let me know your thoughts. Are there any products that I tried that you hadn't heard of that you were thinking about picking up? Did I change your mind on a couple of them? Cause like I said, I could have done without it. Um, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications, new videos. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Until my next video, you guys. Bye. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.